Hi, I'm Jim Ellison. I'm head of the technical and the educational departments here at Sterngold. And today I'd like to demonstrate for you how to change an ERA mail. Now, the ERA mails are nylon, and so they do wear out over time and they need to be removed and replaced. This is a very simple and fast procedure. You don't need to use any uh, composite or any acrylic materials. You don't need to pick them up again. You just remove one mail and snap in a new one. Now, the first thing you need to know is what version of the ERA mails you have. There are two styles, if you will. One is what we call the partial denture ERA, which is an extra coronal ring that would be held uh, off the side of a crown or off the end of a bar. And then there's the overdenture style, which is a round cylinder, just a round ring. That would be on top of a, a root cap coping, on top of a bar, on an implant abutment, or even on the ERA implant itself. And I've got examples of each. Now, within those two styles, there are two sizes each. There's the standard size. In the partial denture, we call that the ERA RV. That's the standard partial denture. And then there's a micro version of that. In the overdenture, once again, we've got a standard and a micro. So you need to figure out which attachment you have. And we have another video which talks about how to tell the difference in ERA males. And I would uh, urge that you take a look at that video as well. But I will show you here what I have is two of the nylon males. These happen to both be the micro size. The blue one is the partial denture or the extra coronal version. It has a kind of a wide opening in the side wall. The uh, white one is the overdenture style and you notice there's just a little thin slit in the side wall. So that's the general way you tell the sizes, or well, the styles at least. The sizes you'll have to do a little measuring. Now, to change these, you need, well, I would say three tools, but two basically. We've got the core cutter. This is a trefine burr. Now, I'm going to be using the micro, so these you can tell. Uh, well, if you look at this, on the side it says micro. And on the end of the seating tool is an M for micro as well. Now, as I mentioned, this is a trefine burr. It has cutting flutes only at the end. And it's meant to core out the center button of the nylon mail so that it's easy to collapse the walls and flip them out. So we have an empty place in which to snap a new nylon mail. So core cutter removes them. Seating tool is basically a handle to snap the new ones in without damaging the button. We don't want you uh, pushing uh, with the pointy end of a number seven wax spatula on the button of the males because you could damage them and they wouldn't last as long. The other tool that I have here is an extraction tool. Now this bears probably a good resemblance to a scaler, an old broken scaler but we've modified. What we've done on the end here is we have, as you can see, I don't know if I try to get a good close-up, but we've sculpted the end a little bit. It's scooped out a little bit and down to a rather thin blade. And uh, so if you don't want to modify your own broken scaler that you have laying around, we do sell these as well. So those are the tools that you need. Now I have here an overdenture and I've got a partial denture and I'm going to change out one mail from each. So here we see an overdenture version. Uh, these could once again be on roots, on implants, uh, mini implants, so there's a number of versions. Inside we've got the nylon males. These happen to be inside what we call the metal jacket. It's a little metal housing that goes around the nylon part. And most everybody uses these inside, the nylon males. You process to the black male 
that has the metal housing around it. And the reason most people like those is because when we change the mail, this little metal receptacle stays in the denture, so it's a little more uh, precise. You'll also notice how you can hear a slightly different sound when I cut through on that. So let's take the uh, overdenture. You'll need a, uh, a straight laboratory style handpiece, and we're going to put the core cutter burr in and tighten that. Now I'm, I like to hold it kind of like a pencil, uh, but what you're going to do is run this at about medium speed, not too slow, not too fast, but you'll want to, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing, but you'll hear, and, and what I'm going to be using is a, a push pull cutting action. If you thrust in three times, even if the little button does not stay in the end of your tool, you will have damaged it enough so that you can easily flip it out. But the idea is we're coring through the occlusal aspect of the nylon. And in fact, if you listen, uh, I don't know if our sound is close enough here, but when I hit the metal housing, it kind of gives a little more of a screech. So let's try this. One time, two times, okay. I don't know if you heard that little change in sound. So what I have is the little center button is here inside the tool. Now, before I can use it a second time, I have to eject that button. There's a slot in the side wall. And so I'm gonna use anything pointy to take that little button out. But now, in order to remove, the side walls are there. Now, why do we take out the center button first? Well, because the retention, the mechanical retention that holds this nylon mail into the denture, whether it's the acrylic alone or whether it's in the metal housing. And by the way, you can use ERAs without the metal housing. It's just that most people choose to use the metal jacket. Now, therefore, I'm going to remove that side wall, and I don't want to damage the projection that's on the outside of that side wall, about halfway up the side, which mechanically holds them into our denture. So I'm going to use this tool with the scooped out part facing in toward the mail. I'm going to put it down outside the nylon, but inside the metal. So straight down, basically. So I'll get it straight down, and then I'm going to flip it out. There we go. You can see I've got the side walls on the end of the tool. Okay. And so we'll throw that away. And what I have is an empty, let me just blow some of the dust off here. I've got an empty metal jacket. So I'm now going to on the end of the seating tool is a hole in the end to, so it protects the button. I'm going to pick up the overdenture, the micro overdenture white male. Now you'll notice they're all white in here. In a normal course of events, if you have white males in there and they wear out over a year or two, you simply replace them with another white male. You don't go up in color each time. The amount of retention as we go from one color to the next is varied by the, not just the color, but because of the diameter of the center button. So I'm going to try to keep my hands out of the way so you can see this. I'm going to put it straight in. You got a good view of that? Okay, and I'm just going to push. And if you listen, you can hear it pop. Oh, did you hear that little snap? So now we have it in. And that's all there is to it. You don't need to do another pickup. There's no composite or acrylic involved in doing that. So it's very quick. Uh, we say 30 seconds, but it really is even quicker than that. So that's the overdenture version. Let me get this partial denture out. Now I happen to have the ERA RV over here, but on the other side I'm going to change out this micro. Now I have an orange one here. The blue that I'm going to use is one step up in retention. The button center button gets a little bit larger, uh, but I thought you could see it a little better in the blue color. So once again, I've got my 
core cutter in place. I'm going to line it up. Medium speed. Oop, well, okay, that one went out in one push rather than even the three. So what I've got is an empty metal jacket. You notice how there's a big opening in the sidewall. I'm going to once again eject, find the slit, eject my little button from the core cutter so it's ready to go again. Pick up, in this case, the blue mail on the end of the seating tool. Now, can you see that rather wide opening? I have to line that up with the opening in the metal jacket. So I'm going to hold this in my hand, line it up, and push it in. Once again, you might have heard a little bit of a snap there. So we'll reseat that. And there. You even get a little bit of snap, as you can see. And on the overdenture, all replaced. So that's it. That's the procedure on how to change an ERA mail.